Hi guys, Genis here from Scan Hitting. Today we have an amazing topic which I really love to. And yes, we have an oil boiler burner. This is the classic Riello boiler burner. We can uh, meet uh, on the majority of the boilers in the UK. And we will come through one by one all the points of the burner. And uh, we will open uh, the burner as well just to see a little bit internal bit so let's start with a gently 360 view first of all as you can see here we have the control box sometimes we can uh, call the wiring box control box or PCB uh, doesn't really matter whatever way you choose to say that uh, everybody understand that here there is the photocell. The photocell is that cell, is that sensor actually, understand if we have flame inside to the burner or not. And we can take this one out actually, and we can see how clean that it is. If it's not, we have to clean it. Normally we do that with an annual inspection. Uh, also you can see here, we have the capacitor. The capacitor is the machine we put it uh, in order to start up the motor of the burner. This one normally is 4.5 4, 4 microfarad. And uh, also we do visual inspection uh, uh, every time we do the annual service. Normally if we see any oil it's time to replace. If we turn the burner here, we will see the oil pump. This is the oil pump which takes with a gravity fed uh, oil tank and then go up to 13 bars and then jet this one into the boiler. This is actually the testing uh, point. We can uh, plug in the manometer and we do the settings and we can monitoring sort of the settings and here is the little uh, tiny thing we can put a flathead screwdriver or we even fit uh, uh, an allen key and we can control uh, the pressure as well the exit is on this copper pipe which is going straight away to the injector we will open later on probably in another video to see what's happened here that's a very very critical point uh, this is a flap an internal flap which actually goes uh, up and down and restrict or getting wider from the air intake to the chamber it's critical when we set up initially the burner we have to follow exactly the manufacturer's instructions is extremely sensitive um, balance uh, on this uh, situation and we have to be hundred percent sure that uh, uh, the burner follow the manufacturers for example we have to have the exactly correct uh, uh, oil or pressure air uh, settings and uh, n the correct uh, nozzle pattern uh, uh, radiance uh, and uh, size otherwise we have very wrong d d amounts of course we have to follow again the products of combustion according to manufacturers but the rule of thumb is uh, 12 uh, ppm per points per million has to be the CO2 and uh, if we turn it again we will see here the electromagnet this is the little solenoid which actually we can take it here we can unplug it and check it as well we can measure if that's live or not this one when uh, the current goes through then this one opens the diaphragm from the oil pump and then start to inject uh, oil in release the oil into uh, nozzle here is the diffuser system um, that's the diffuser system which actually sends the air and the oil and this one starts to spinning around in order to create the correct shape uh, before go to the boiler chamber uh, here is the air inlet take I'm not sure if I have to put a little bit 
more light let me do it guys in order to show the better yes here is the diffuser and here is the in air intake point here is the oil pump again control unit pcb and this is the very famous reset button if something is going wrong on the boiler and uh, one of the seconds uh, this is programming to do doesn't work very well automatically lock itself out and then manually have to press the reset in order to understand that someone's monitoring now the boiler and if something's getting very wrong someone can react and here is the little uh, areas as well we can take there uh, underneath there is nothing all we can see is just a little bit uh, the motor and the details of the motor and uh, the inlet point of the oil pump this is the inlet point i hope you like it please thumbs up subscribe and like in order to support the channel uh, on the next video i'm going to show you a little bit internal on the diffuser what's happening thank you for watching